remember reading that you had a choice to go between Celtic and Manchester United. Maybe you could tell us a little bit why you chose Celtic and do you have any regrets with that today? Yeah, not not really. I mean, for people who don't know, I grew up in Ireland, obviously, um, all my life till I was 16, till I moved across to Glasgow Celtic. And yeah, I was at Old Trafford for a few weeks on trial as well. Uh, Alex Ferguson was there and my dad was my sort of, not an agent as such, but he was my person I would listen most to at that young age. And I was a Celtic supporter all my life. Uh, obviously, Manchester United is a massive club as well. So as a 16-year-old, you can imagine how difficult that decision was to make. Um, but my dad made it quite simple for me because I think Packy Bonner was the goalkeeper at Celtic and he was 34, 35. And Peter Schmeichel was at what a Manchester United who was just sort of coming into his prime. So my dad was saying, you know, he's going to be there for the next, I don't know, maybe 10 years before, you know, because he's such an amazing, you know, my, he's my hero, Peter Schmeichel, one of the best goalkeepers of all time. So... My dad felt the best chance of getting to the first team would be to go to Glasgow Celtic. Um, and it's quite a funny story. Recently, I played a couple of years ago for actually for Salford, Nick, in a, in a charity oh, game. Yeah, Nicky Butt asked me to play in this charity game. And uh, Alex Ferguson was was the manager in the change room. And, and it was only like two years ago or something. And he goes to me, I still can't believe you turned me down when you were 16. Ah. So it's okay. crazy. The, mem the memory Sir Alex Ferguson has is, is unbelievable. You know, the, you imagine the many players that he's gone through his system. Yeah, but yeah. He, still, he still remembers that. About your time at Derby County, you're still there right now. Uh, yeah. To Frank Lampard leaving, though, um, how was he as a manager? Though, like, what are the little things that makes him uh, a good manager in modern football? Well, obviously, as you say, he's young. He, he's he's coming through. He came through the system in a sense that at the right time. Obviously, Jody Morris was at Chelsea. You know, looking through the underage teams had a successful two or three years. I think it was with under 18s they won so many trophies and stuff um but frank and jody are really close friends from from playing together in the past but i think frank's a modern manager you know i think he likes to play football i think he likes to work hard when we don't have the ball as well you know and i think you know he's very passionate he's very passionate about being the best manager i mean frank probably is one of the best premier league midfielders of all time and, and that comes from a work rate and, and trying to do your best every single day when he went to work and that's the same as a manager. You know, he comes in first in, he's last to leave. You know, he wants to be, he wants now to be, I think in his head, the football playing career is over. So, you know, he wants to be the best manager possible he can be. Um, and he'd done a fantastic job last year with Derby. Obviously, we got to the final of the playoffs. We just could yeah. not do enough in the final against Aston Villa, but we were so close uh, to, to getting to the Premier League. Um, and that was his first season. Of course, Chelsea came in the summer and, and, and took him away and, and he's a legend, of course, at Chelsea, and you just hope he does really well there and, and gets the right back in and, and move the club forward as well. There's rumours that he fancied you going there as well, mate. <laughs> there was talk about it, I think, but um, I don't know, actually, there's a lot of, I think it's when you go to a bigger club, Nick, there's so much, much politics involved and what have you, and, you know, there's lots of people in place already. Hilario is the goalkeeping coach, I think, there, and there's, I think, Christoph, who, who, who oversees the goalkeepers, and Petr Cech's gone there now as well as a director and stuff, you know, so. A lot of bodies. Yeah, there's a lot of people in there, you know, um, and I'm, I'm very grateful to Derby County as well for giving me the opportunity to, to be a coach here, you know, because it's, it's a big club, Derby County as well. It's a basically it's a Premier League club in my eyes in the championship because the training ground and the stadium are fantastic. You know, we just got to make that step up, hopefully, and we can do that.